Barry, of course, how you can imagine, it's a, it's a really tough place to come and, um, and um, if you are not as concentrated or as focused as we were today, then I think it's, uh, it's impossible to get something here. So we were, from the first second, really, really spot on. Um, I like the mix-up of being patient in different moments and being very lively in others. But a very good organization with a defending approach, idea, um, and it worked out. It worked out. It was clear you cannot create chance in a minute by minute. But um, um, so we we scored a fantastic first goal, uh, which I would give, like to give 40 percent to Andrew Robertson because if he does make the the run in Phil's back, then I think the situation is completely different. But of course, it was fantastic of Phil. Roberto forced the second goal, fantastic third goal, and um, even when it looked a little bit like offside a second ago when I saw it, um, a fantastic fourth goal. Um, and controlled the game in the second half, came not really in trouble, let Bournemouth, I think, had won, maybe, yeah. Um, of course, yeah. we had a lot more than we scored, so that's I think it's pretty fair that they didn't use the one that happened already very, really often against us. So um, I'm really happy about the, the full package we showed today, and um, uh, it was difficult, and um, so we are really, yeah, satisfied. Fourth place, you're happy to be fourth place now. You're right up there. In the we middle. couldn't be higher huh? after yeah. win. we couldn't be since this morning. It was clear if we if we win, we are fourth. I think um, so. Yes, I'm happy about that, but I didn't think about it to be honest. Yeah. yeah. You talk about Robertson there. He's had to wait a lot this season for more games. How do you feel he's on, on board, what you've been asking to, to learn? He had to wait, he had to, to train and to learn, that that's a different thing. And then uh, you, uh, only because everybody's asking, it looks like he has to wait. But um, yeah, it was, it was, I mean, I'm happy about it. He made a big step today because the first two games were all good. But Robo can do much better, he knows that. But it's normal, if you, get, you have to gain rhythm. You need to get more confident. And today it was a game where we really made the difference. I played the first pass. I think he played in the back um, for Roberto. Roberto couldn't get it, but that was the idea, and he did really well. It was fantastic. Football players were happy for him. Yeah, the new yeah. I know you've spoken a lot about Mo Salah recently, but he scored again. That's 20 goals. It's just a remarkable achievement. He's scored so many so quickly. Yeah, right. But what would have happened if he wouldn't score from now on? But it's still 20 after the season, so I'm looking forward to it that he that he stays in that shape and we, we still play like this. And, and 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 he didn't he didn't score against West Brom, for example. He could have needed it much more in that game than today. But it, things happen. That's no, I have no problem with it. I don't want to say I don't like it as a manager. You don't like it too much. You talk always about Mo. I, he knows how much I I, I respect him. I like him. And we talk about Fab Four, Fab Four. I don't like that name as well. So I cannot always use it. I don't think about that. I don't go home and think, my God, Moser, how good is he? Um, and all the others. And, and that's not how it works. So, yes, very important player for us, like the others. But obviously, it's for him easier in the moment to finish the situations and then for other players. But we, we all know that um, um, hopefully it stays like this with Mo, for example. But um, um, Sadio Oxley has big potential in this and then Sadio as well. Adam Lallana is back. So we need to bring all together that we can um, play intensive football, not because we want to play intensive football, not only because it's the, the, the period is so intense that you have to cope with it. We have to deal with the situation. And for that, we need um, all the players. And I'm happy that today we got um, even more more important the three points as well. Very good. We saw. We saw. Uh, okay, today I think we were difficult to play, to be honest. Um, um, but what we saw so far um, in, in analyze, it's just it's just good. It's just good organized, um, um, clear structure, stuff like this. So, but to, to, yeah, I really I don't think that this today is a, is is a that the. the, the the game today showed the, the real face of Bournemouth, um, but it showed what we can do and how we can will cause then Bournemouth in this in this moment and uh, problems. So um, I don't think you saw a lot of the normal things, of the things you see normally in a game from Bournemouth. So you, you know it better than I do. But um, uh, that was um, mainly because of the performance of my boys. Really, that was really good. We were really good in the situations, ready. Everybody ready for defending. How many balls we? 
because and probably everybody knows what a fantastic football player Suman is. And he, <laughs> um, yeah, it was difficult for him eh, to get the balls he usually usually get, and that's um, that's then how it is. So um, how I said we had a defensive plan, and it worked out, and that's good.